guys, this is Ryan with The Rut. We're sitting here at Independence Brewing, Austin, Texas. We got a band in from Idaho called Tyler and the Train Robbers. They're gonna talk about our band a little bit, play a tune for us. And I'll wave some strangers in. I had them where I wanted, but to How's it going? I'm Tyler uh, Ketchum uh, with Tyler and the Train Robbers. We're out of Boise, Idaho. Uh, just torn through Texas here and, uh, and uh, playing some shows. So Idaho music, um, I find it kind of goes in with the Texas and Oklahoma music. Um, uh, the Braun brothers come from Idaho, and uh, when I moved to Idaho, I uh, I knew about those guys and what was coming out of out of um, Stanley, Idaho, and, and you know the Boise area. And um, then I heard about Pinto Bennett; uh, he's a big one uh, there in the Motel Cowboys. Um, a lot of that stuff coming out of Idaho, and we've kind of got to play with those guys uh, and meet them and, and kind of kind of try to pass or, or, or keep alive the Idaho sound. Uh, it's definitely its own thing, but it, it fits perfectly with the, the Texas and Oklahoma stuff. I travel with two of my brothers, uh, Jason and Tommy. Uh, Jason Bushman, he plays the bass and backup vocals. He's been in the band for, uh, well, we all, we all played when we were little kids, but he's been in this band uh, the longest. And Tommy just joined the band on drums um, a few months back. and. Um, and then Johnny I met when I first moved to Idaho, um, and uh, we, he, he was in the band first until the other, my other brothers moved to Idaho, so that's kind of how that all started. And I met Johnny's daughter after that, and we're engaged. She's on our album as well. We're always playing. Um, we gotta keep the, the money kind of rolling in for bills so we don't have to get any other job. <laughs> uh, so we play a lot. We have a lot of local stuff uh, in Idaho that we play. Um, you know, they're all, you know, three and four hour drives and we go to Oregon and Washington and Utah and Montana and uh, Wyoming and so we, we just kind of go anywhere we just keep circling out and we, we, we do Texas about twice a year and it's our third trip uh, Texas Oklahoma and uh, it's been good to us so far we've been getting more gigs each time and uh, meeting more people uh, my brothers they fish a lot uh, Idaho's got a lot of fishing and hunting hiking I I like I like to sit on the front porch of a cabin <laughs> and run out to work on songs and stuff like that. I like being out in kind of the middle of nothing and not having neighbors. I do live in town uh, right now, but we, we do a lot of uh, a lot of playing in, uh, in kind of the little mountain towns and stuff. So I get to hang out uh, in the woods a lot and to play play for the small towns, and that's always a lot of fun. And, uh, so we do we do get to do a lot of cool things just off of having gigs there, you know. Uh, going out with people to kill time on the river and stuff and uh, hanging out and playing music. We've got a new album, uh, just came out a few weeks ago uh, on April 26th. Uh, it was the anniversary of uh, uh, Black Jack Ketchum's Hanging. He was a train robber in the 1800s, late 1800s that I'm related to. And that's kind of how we get our name, The Train Robbers. And uh, we've got a, a song on the, on the uh, album about his life and, and that kind of story, kind of the background of our the name of the band and, and also my grandpa drew a photo of him and we put it on the front. So it kind of made it all a, a family uh, family deal. Kind of trying to get the train robber thing across finally. Our first album, we uh, it was just kind of a, a, I didn't want people to just think it was a catchy name. I didn't want them to know there was a real story behind it and everything. And uh, so we got to do this on uh, this time around with this new album and uh, tell some of the history and get to do that. That was a song called The Ballad of Blackjack Ketchum. Well, my daddy always said you're only as good as who you're hanging with So I was hanging with the best of the worst kind and My first scream was on Halloween, born October 31, 1863, before the West was won I set out young before anyone could ever tell me no Those were different times and that was long ago you see, the biggest thing that you could take down was on tracks and made of steel. The pay was good, it kept us off the streets and begging for a meal. 
You could be in hell by breakfast or go to heaven at supper time. Never turn down money when you ain't got a dime. I was my brother Sam and the rest of the clan. We did our best to be discreet. No one saw our faces or knew our names, all reward and no defeat. That first black beauty that we brought down, we nearly cleared 20 grand. Hiding in caves, splitting gold four ways, they'll never catch the catch 'em game. Cause back in town, me and Sam were known as the most polite young men around. There were a few that held the truth, but they'd never dare make a sound. Over the next few years, the word got out and our fortune turned to fame. I was no longer known as Thomas Edward. Black Jack Ketchum was my name. You could be in hell by breakfast or go to heaven at supper time. When you can't turn down money, living becomes a crime. I think the number was five thousand, five thousand dollars for my head. And I'm glad my mother died, never knowing what I was worth, alive or dead. We worked in Ranch West Texas, east and northern New Mexico, where we knew the land better than any every crevice, cave, and hole. Well, the gang let out without me this time. I had other plans. I never got word of how it went. I hope it went well. I'm sure it did. My plan seemed fine, done it several times, only this time I was alone. I just detached the mail car from the train and away the rest would roll. The conductor was held up and everything had gone to plan until Buckshot came from another angle, taking away my use of hand. Then off the train I did fall down the hill to get away. Tried to mount my horse a dozen times in the night back in the day. Now you could be in hell by breakfast or go to heaven at supper time. Only turn down money to stay alive. I placed my hat over top of my gun and I waved some strangers in. I had them where I wanted, but despite the shape that I was in, they threatened just to leave me there, so I turned myself in. I said, My name, it is George Stevens, and this is my first attempt at sin. I'm sure they heard the train coming as they hauled me to Folsom Town, where I was wanted for armed robbery and killing, but at last I had been found. They said, Killed some men. I told him I did it for the dough. Tell you the truth, I didn't need the money. Killed him for darker pleasures, I suppose. Then they hauled me to the dock in Trinidad. The dock said he wouldn't do no harm. After the dock's work was done, they took me to Santa Fe without my arm. From Santa Fe to Clayton, up to Clayton, New Mexico. That's where they told me I would hang to my death. Lord, have mercy on my soul. You could be in hell by breakfast or go to heaven at supper time. You can never make enough money to turn back time. They seem happy to inform me that my brother had passed back a month or so. But even without my older brother Sam, I didn't completely feel alone. Well, surely my men would come for me, and I made sure to make that known. But it only made them hang me faster. There was a statement to be shown. Well, I'm up here on this gallows with an itchy noose around my neck, thinking of words to leave behind before they applaud my plummet to death. Well, my daddy always said you're only as good as who you're hanging with. I was hanged like the best of the worst kind.